Time to solve more ghost mysteries. So the puppet, it was inside here, right? It was a moving puppet. Oh, I much prefer being inside. It's, it's not as scary inside. This is a bright, well-lit place, and I think I see the possessed puppet right there. Hmm. Oh, scary guy. Dude, why do you just keep disappearing and reappearing? Just, just, just stay with us the whole time. I mean, I, I guess it's nice to have him around, but he never has anything interesting to say. He's just like, Ooh, I'm popping out of nowhere saying, Oh, are things going well? Okay, good. Now I'm leaving again. It, 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 it's like, if you have something to contribute to the conversation, then, then actually contribute to the conversation. Don't just show up, say something pointless, and then leave. It's a cute doll. Maybe it's one of those bobblehead dolls that moves on its own. Hmm. Got some puzzle here. Puzzle 62, puppet performance. This is a puppet show with finger puppets on two different hands. You need to move the finger puppets so there's a blue one in each thumb and a red one in each little finger. Okay, that shouldn't be too tough. A finger puppet can only move to an empty space, and two puppets of the same color... Wait, how do I move? Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Touch the finger puppet you want to move, and then the finger you want to move them to. Can only move to an empty space on the other hand. Other hand. Bam! That's the trick to the puzzle. Okay. Okay. Let's just start doing this. So I need to get this red moved out of the way. In order to get the red moved out of the way, I need to move a blue like this. Move a pink here, and the blue here, so that blue is in place, and now I've got blue, I've got blue and red where I want them to. Because let's move a yellow here, so I can move a blue here, so I can move the yellow here, and then blue there. Now, finally, I need to get the red into place. So I move the, the pink here, pink there, pink there, and uh, red there. That might not be the fastest solution, but it, it works pretty well. Just be conscientious about, uh, you know, what, what you're moving next to. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're great at solving puzzles. Yep, it's an automatron. It's not actually a puppet that moves on its own. Well, my dog just doesn't like you, that's all. Okay, next we have the cellar. How do we get to the cellar? The cellar, sir. I have been here for a considerable number of years, but not once have I heard mention of a cellar, nor have I seen evidence of one. Hmm. Well, there are two mysteries about the cellar, so... 
We've got to find the cellar entrance. Anyway, Possessed Puppet, it was just all, all a trick. That was just a, a mechanical puppet. Okay, well, the entrance is somewhere here. I'm just gonna look here. The fireplace. Puzzle number 63, the unopened room. This is a closed room that no one ever enters. However, one year has passed and something in the room has changed. What is it? What has changed? Okay, I move the circle over the thing that has changed. Huh. Well, obviously, um... Hmm. I mean, I'm thinking that, but that could be a trick. Because, you know, if somebody turned over... The, uh, the timepiece. Obviously, it changes over the course of a year. What else do we have? A metronome? Uh, gosh, nothing has dust on it. Okay, this is a red ball. That's a thing of water. Wouldn't the water evaporate, maybe? I'll try that. This is an interesting one. That's how it's yeah! Argle Funf for the win! Sixty puzzles, okay, I earned a decor docket. I just want another fashion farthing. I wanna I wanna dress up uh Catriel in a fancy new outfit. Oh, hey, what do you know? We found a hidden passageway. In the fireplace. You know, that, even, that is even scarier than all the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. You always have a lantern? Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Wooster. Don't push, Catriel. Okay, yeah, so we solved this mystery. The mystery of the cellar. Cool, so the next mystery is one inside the cellar, right? Ooh, ooh. The sound effects of us walking. Ooh, that's that's creepy. Stark and damp and awfully cramped. Okay, what are we? Oh, the morbid mirror. We're investigating the morbid mirror. Oh, geez. Okay. Maybe it's a one-way mirror with a doll on the other side? Or a, a two-way mirror? I don't know. Hey, how did you know to show up here, uh, Wooster, if you haven't been in here for your entire life? Even as we speak! It shows something scary. Oh wait, that's your just that's just your reflection. It's it's frightening. You scare me, sir. Okay, so puzzle number sixty-four. We're just just going through all these puzzles here. Deep reflections. Get your light to shine on the treasure at the bottom of the lake. Uh, on the, beneath the water is a crystal that reflects just like mirrors. If you touch one of the crystals, it doubles in size. 
My. So wait. Oh, wow. Okay, so my goal is to shine light on this thing. I can't rotate mirrors, though. I can only double them. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let me reread the instructions. Okay, beneath the water slide, mysterious crystals. It doubles in size, and you can change the direction in which the light travels. Something happens if we eliminate the treasure. <laughs> eliminate. Illuminate the treasure, which is in the bottom right hand corner. Hmm. So obviously, I'm gonna have to do something like this. Ooh, wow. That won't work. Oh, oh, those are two separate ones. I see. Well, I want something to shine on this, which means something has to come from that direction. The only way to get something to come from that direction is to, say, shine something upwards here. So it'd be like, bounce, bounce, but then how would I get it from there? Hmm. Let's just play around with these things. I think this might be a, a good... Huh, well that was interesting. Ooh, so close. What if I do this? Ah, oh, no! So, I mean, that would've been great. But then I jump that one and it knocks it off out of the way. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna have to use a hint here. I am just all confused. There are several ways. Oh, boy. Here, we'll look at a solution that makes five crystals bigger. When light reaches the treasure, the second crystal that the light hits will be bigger. So, okay. So that means this one, basically. That's gonna be that solution. Okay, so there are multiple solutions. Good. So basically, one solution is this, where the second crystal is a big one. One, two, three? No. One, two, three. No. One. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five. Nope. Okay, so let's say that this one is not a big one. That's a big one, and then it's one, two, three. Four. Five. Got it. This analysis will be simplicity itself. That was just a simple piece of profiling work. Okay. Understood her accent that time. She said it's simplicity itself. It's just a simple piece of profiling work. Cool! So, wow, you can do it with only four crystals bigger. Oh, I think that was the one I did. Yeah, kind of an interesting puzzle. I wouldn't have minded more time to play around with it, but I am doing a video walkthrough. I want to try to get these puzzles solved quickly. There's a void behind the mirror. Yeah, see? It's, yeah, there's a scary doll on the other side of the mirror. Yep. Yeah, we've solved all of the mysteries. We're murdering this investigation! Ha ha! Joining forces really helps our team. Maybe you could join our detective agency, Emiliana. Or you could just be vindictive and hate us the entire time. Yeah, she's, she's just gonna be vindictive. Okay.
You okay, Catriel? The searching soul is here! Oh, no, no, it's in the living room. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we'll go to the living room and solve the final, final, um, final mystery there.